Grand Teton Mall for the past couple of weeks has been where it's at. Right, especially in the parking lot. <laughs> yes. How was Paranormal Cirque 2? Oh, so much better than last year. Because I and I think we gave it a decent review last year. Right. I when mean, they were here, but I, it I was still had like, cool tricks. Yeah, I, I was like, eh, you know, you you could see the same thing on the street here in Idaho Falls. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't feel as um, exciting. Yeah. This one, I feel like they had a lot more showmanship, especially with the transitional scenes in between the um, big stunts. Okay, yeah, the sort of jester entertainers. Yes. So I feel like last time they tried to stick a little bit more scary. And the thing about scary things on stage is it's really hard to be scary. You know, I actually think that that's why um, horror movies are so impressive because it's so hard to really achieve that level of like actual actual terror. Uh -huh. Like you can get a good jump scare in no matter how like any any buffoon can get a good jump scare in. Right. You know, but like true horror is really hard to get. And it was really hard from last year. But this year, they actually, with, with more of a comedic take, which I really enjoyed, they did this, like, faux ghost hunters thing for some of it, and they did, like, a little game show. It was super cute. And the two guys that they had as the sort of, like, uh, jester duo were just... They were really into it. They were they just sold it. There was one point where they were doing this vampire bit, and uh, one was wearing fake teeth, and it fell out <laughs> right onto the <laughs> stage. <laughs> and it was kind of funny because he broke character. He broke the fourth wall. He talked directly to the audience. It was like this fake game show thing they were doing. He was a vampire. He dropped his things. And he ended up being like... Oh, my vampire dentures. <laughs> he said something like, um, well, this is probably going to get me addicted to meth, but I better put these back in. And he just sort of rubbed them on his clothes and stuck him back in <laughs> and honestly the dedication was very impressive yeah. in that moment yeah five second rule <laughs> right um they also had one of those transitions where they threw a bunch of huge bouncy balls into the crowd and that was really fun because they were painted like eyeballs oh cute yeah All it right. was really fun and cutely themed uh i felt like the stunts were really impressive this year and i know last year they had a malfunction with the finale uh this year they did not okay which was cool all right. Um, there was only one that I wasn't super impressed by, and that's the hair stunt. I get it. I think it's I think it's impressive. It's an impressive feat in and of itself. And once you're up there and hanging by your hair, there's just not a lot you can do. Right. You know? Except like she can do like a running man. I know she did like a Buddha <laughs> pose. And yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you get it after the first couple seconds, like ow. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. All right. But the rest was really impressive. I thought the the performers did a great job. Um, I would totally go to it again after this one. Okay. And the second thing that's in the Grand Teton Mall parking lot, but it's over now. I think mm -hmm. unless unless they pull the by popular demand, we've extended <laughs> it for one more week. Right. The twenty ribeyes for forty dollars, people. And they mm -hmm. might. They might. Yeah. So so they're there for like a limited time only one week or one weekend, one long weekend. Mm -hmm. I kind of have a feeling they won't because I did have to do a remote for it this mm -hmm. last weekend and it sounded like it was Which sort is of, radio terminology for live remote broadcast. Right. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, and it sounds like it was sort of thrown together at the last second because they knew he was going to okay. All right. skadoodle, but we'll see. And let's see, you you actually brought, this is really cool. I this did. Is a, the first I got time, the deal. <laughs> yeah, you got the 20 ribeyes for $40. Mm -hmm. Here they are. Yeah. And look- I've spent the last couple episodes just bagging on anything and everything. <laughs> so we're just going to show these to you. Yeah. Here's the shot. We weighed them. They're all about mm -hmm. three and a half ounces. Yeah. They're palm-sized steaks. And on your hand. And yeah, I think it would be generous to say that they are about thicker a than a pinky finger. Yeah. A pinky finger the long way. Right. Or the... Wide way. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I know what you mean. Let me hold that up to the camera. But yeah. yeah. Now. That's what you get. I will say, like, the guy running the truck was super nice. So I'm not trying to bag on anyone. And realistically, I think that this meat totally has its place. You know, we actually fried some up. The flavor the flavor was good. They tasted great. You the, know? The texture wasn't my favorite. But also, I've been so spoiled. You are so spoiled. It's, a, it's probably an unfair comparison to mm -hmm. compare these to Virgin Riverland and Cattle Company steaks. Right. Well, and I will say the bigger boxes of meat that they had did uh -huh. look really good. I saw some of their fillets and they were really generous. 
Okay. okay. So, you know, if you're going for the deal, it might not to be as good of a deal as you think you're going to get. But honestly, I think that the boxes probably could come out to be a pretty good deal. You know, I don't get upset by walking into a place like this and going, that's what they are. Mm-hmm. That's the 20 ribeyes for $40. That's what you've been advertising, huh? <laughs> right. I don't know why I went to Nero there, but <laughs> that was really bad. It was. <laughs> I'm, I'm walking in. Eh? Um, don't that's try not to even, redeem it. <laughs> um, all right. Let's pull that back in. <laughs> um, Slurp it up like a noodle. <laughs> but I get upset at the people who get upset. Right. I agree with that. I, I just want to say, what'd you expect? Mm-hmm. So anyway, they're good for tacos. They're good yeah. for... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think these would be perfect if you're like making steak and eggs. Yeah. You know, or anything else where you'd want thinly cut steak. Yeah. You know, I think that's perfect. All right. You know? Okay. It is what it is. Right. Which is and also bad. an expression that I hate. Specifically, what it, people should say when they want to say that is, I accept it for what it is. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Third thing in the Grand Teton Mall parking lot, Monster Bounce. Which I still haven't gone to, and I want to go so bad. What did we hear last year from people? You will realize after <laughs> about 10, 15 minutes that you are completely out of shape. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll Which be I sore for expect. a couple days. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll take some ibuprofen. I'll be fine. All right. You know, I'll Let's wear put some it on sneakers. Our list. They're there till when? August something. August 10th. August 10th. Yeah, which is pretty good, I think. Okay. With how hot it's been, I do kind of wonder if their attendance has been down a little bit. Right. And if it, whether or not it has or hasn't, I definitely would encourage people to make sure to take as many steps as possible against chafing. Because I feel like an activity like that is just asking for some thor- some sore thighs. That's hard to say. Thor, thor-, thor- thighs. <laughs> thor thighs. Oh, my goodness. I used to have, you know, I, I used to have a lisp as a kid. So, <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, sometimes it just pops out. But the biggest news that I wanted to talk about, about the Grand Teton Mall, is they're turning 40. How wild is that, by the way? I remember when that was a field. <laughs> yeah, right? Every Idahoan ever. <laughs> I remember when Sunnyside was the edge of town. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that Ermac and Grand Teton Mall were both built about the same time. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, Grand Teton Mall opened in 1984. and Ooh, if right during the mall boom. Uh-huh. And if you're feeling nostalgic, it, I think for the last six months, maybe even year, mm-hmm. they've been posting every Throwback Thursday, they've been posting some, unfortunately, their cell phone shots of... Actual photos oh, of bummer. them all. So there's weird glare and stuff the way they're taking them, but that will definitely stimulate some memories. Oh, cool. Find them on Facebook. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a far cry from what it was then. Right. 